Hello and welcome to this video guys. Today we're going to look into tree shaking uh, in Angular. So it's a it's a way of actually optimizing the application performance. So there's a couple of things you need to do. The first thing would would need you would need to do is essentially ensure that you have a module here which is set to ES 2022. If you have older projects maybe it's ES 2015. Just ensure that you have the ECMAScript latest and greatest for your application. Second thing we want to do is jump into your Angular JSON. You need to find the, the architect build and here we're going to look for configurations. We're going under productions. Here we want to set optimization true. So whenever we build the project, the optimization will be set to true, which essentially means that it will look for the tree shakeability of the project. So once this is done, let's go ahead and create a function here. So I'll explain a bit how it works. So we'll just create a, let's call it utilfunctions.ts. So it's simple function file. And here we want to have, we want to export a function, call, let's say call add, and here is a, a number and B. In this case, so it's going to be two very basic functions here, just to get to know how it, it actually works. So we have add, and then we're going to add a subtract, quite similar logic here where we just sub subtract it and, and export a function. All right, so here's the thing. Now we have two functions which we export from this util functions. So when I come to the app component file here, uh, let's say I have in the constructor we have uh, values equals to and here we want to have um, when I, we want to add two values here so we're pointing towards our util function and as you can see here we're tree shaking the add function from the util function so now we could do like this so when we print the values and add is being called there in production mode we will only bundle the add logic for this code so that it's actually tree shakeable in this case, it, it would not really utilize the subtract function that we had. And this is a way, it's a technique of actually optimizing, making better performance in general of your application bundle. So this is one of the best practices with an Angular when it comes to tree shakeability. And it's a very good way to improve performance and provide a better user experience for the users. Thank you for watching. All the best. Bye.